Dr. Soto, those conditions that have just been defined, citing several examples, including Captain Louis. I am not a medical doctor, but it would suggest to me that if there is blood coming from the ears and these stomach complaints, it has to be something fairly serious and long term. Would you concur? I concur. I mean, it's, it's just a, a dramatic crying out loud of these people on the phone so that I hear that they're suffering and they just nobody seems to be helping them. And as far as your question on estimate, you know, we're only talking about hundreds of thousands of people that are already having symptoms but could potentially be seeing the tip of the iceberg here. And we're talking about an entire population in the Gulf Coast states and maybe spreading further into the United States. So this is a, a huge issue that unless we do something sooner as a coalition or as, an, uh, as a group and community to really pass the word around, we're going to depend on the government to help us here. We have to improve the educational level and pass the information along in order for everybody to create an environment of their own so they can help and start a process of uh, whether it is uh, avoiding first and then detoxifying, of course, to prevent a major disaster that is already is as, as it is a major disaster, but this can get worse as the time goes on. And David, if I might interject something really quickly. Of course. Dr. Soto is a small minority of physicians who are educated to this problem. It is astonishing how many folks or general pr practitioners will say, look, we didn't study this in medical school. We're really not trained to recognize these symptoms. So he is truly a jewel along the Gulf Coast. I appreciate that. It's true, Dr. Soto. We have a doctor helping us in Louisiana, and he hopes to talk with you soon because he's being overwhelmed by Native American communities, et cetera, who have been working on the spill and are coming up with all these health effects and would love to, to talk to you.